Oh, okay, I'm not ready to yawn yet because we still have something else that we need to review that's going to be very important to the show because if we don't do this, um, Lisa will be very disappointed that we're unable to review this one. So... <laughs> Okay, I'm not ready to yawn yet because we still have something else that we need to review that's going to be very important to the show because if we don't do this, um, Lisa will be very disappointed that we're unable to review this one. So <laughs> a epic drama set thousands of years before the events of The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings follows an ensemble cast of characters, both familiar and new, as they confront the long-feared reemergence of evil to Middle-earth. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the summary for Rings of Power that is at, that just wrapped up on Amazon Prime. If you're joining us for the first time, we do a thing called a one sentence review. We will review this series in one sentence. Jason, what is your one sentence review of Rings of Power? I want, I want looking right here at the camera. I'm looking at you, Elon Musk. You're wrong. You're wrong, Elon. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> um. My what's in this review of the Rings of Power is Mount Doom have no fury like an elven woman scorned. <laughs> if you watch no. it to the end, you will know why. <laughs> and Lisa, what is your what's in this review of Rings of Power? Um, eh, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do y'all hear that? Do you hear that? That's the sound of Twitter fingers going crazy. Let's go, let's go, Warriors. <laughs> Look, Come at honestly, me. the way. The way Twitter is about this show, like you're probably gonna get like freaking flowers in the mail and shit. Like, right, right. Gonna hug you. <laughs> uh, I, like, I, see, forgot, I forgot. I forgot. Anyone scared me. Yeah, just you know, have there. Incels proposing at you, like showing up to do to propose and stuff. Like, oh, know. <laughs> you know what they're gonna do? Yeah. They're like, see, see, a woman see? said that, <laughs> not a guy. Ooh. Yeah, so it has to be right, right? I'm not sexist. A woman said it. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, I hate women, and that's, not, <laughs> that's why I'm not watching it. Obviously. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, and you love Jensen yeah. Ackles. Yeah, so you the, yeah. The time. Please. Either the Winchesters <laughs> or Ring of Power. You chose yeah. the Winchesters. Uh, Jason, what do you think about the storyline for Rings of Power? What did you think was going on here? Uh, you know, as Lord of the Rings stories go, it's a little slow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That it's fellowship little... took about four episodes. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the way it is. It's not it's not about, you know, it's this is not Game of Thrones, everybody. That's that's just be 100 percent Let's keep it real. It's not Game of Thrones. You know, you're not gonna have all these intrigues and backstabbing. You're gonna have a few episodes of some fun people walking around. You're right. <laughs> and that's what we're here for, right? That's what I'm here for. Is okay, is, okay. <laughs> Yeah, some of us like no, don't say we. <laughs> That's what you're here for. <laughs> like um, a lot of these characters, especially the newer ones that aren't in uh, the tokenarium and the lore. I just I, I love them, <laughs> especially the 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 Harfoots, uh, Nori and her friend Poppy. Uh, they made it to number two of my favorite Hobbit pairing, uh, above Salmon and Frodo, but right below Merry and Pippin. Uh, very, very close, close. Um, mm. Because it just, I want to be a hobbit. <laughs> I want to live a hobbit's life, even even back then when they're just, you know, leaving people to die on the trail. <laughs> you just want all those breakfast. <laughs> yeah, I just like breakfast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look, I was going to bring up second breakfast, but I was definitely going to bring up the fact that it was like, yeah. oh, you can't make the walk. <laughs> you did. <laughs> Hope you had kids. Let's go on. <laughs> Cause we we ain't we ain't stopping. Um I did I uh, guess I guess who Sauron was going to be. Um from the uh, how, how early? I wouldn't say pretty early. I would say probably like three or four episodes in. I was like, that dude's fucking Sauron. Um I do like where they're taking the story to, like in the next seasons, because uh that dude and uh What's his name? Um, shit, Adar. Yeah, they're gonna have some beef, <laughs> and mm. and they're gonna have to resolve that because <laughs> uh, not there can't be two rulers in Mordor. So I, well, I can't wait to see who's how gonna that plays win. Out. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, yes, it is a prequel. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, freaking Durin the Fourth and his wife Disa. 
Uh, they could Amazing. just have the whole show about them yep. and just being yep. sassy yep. dwarves. And I would have been fine with that. Mm-hmm. Uh, sometimes when they're just doing other shit, I'm like, bring me back to the sassy dwarves, please. <laughs> and mm. <laughs> especially Durin, who just gives Elrond and every elf so much sass. Just just yes. on a daily basis. Just just sass oh, man, but, uh, sassafras <laughs> but it was breathtaking when she was like singing to the rocks oh my that was God. amazing like the like, cut of that scene is so beautiful the visuals of this show for me are worth the admission yeah. um yes freaking yes. from numenor to uh to casa doom also known as moria uh just those two visuals you can tell they put their money in there and, it, and it's just amazing to look at uh linden eragion there, you've seen one Elven City, you've seen them all, but between Numenor and 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 Kazadun is great. Uh, the elves in this show aren't very elfy, a lot of them look like old dudes. <laughs> there are no, there are no, uh, but to make up for that, they have a man called Arondir <laughs> mm-hmm. who is a black elf or a elf of phenotypical brown skin. And uh, yeah. as I said, yeah, on no, scale, right? tick, what tick are they thinking? <laughs> yeah. A woman and a black elf? Oh my god, Woo, I know, right? <laughs> yeah, oh Dude. god, Imagine. Lisa's black too, she's a black dwarf, and they're Whoa. Uh, yeah, and they're, they're just going all the out of here. There. What, what, did, oh. what else is going to be next? Uh, a Mexican he- a hobbit? I don't know, he's oh. really <laughs> <laughs> and and the black elf was wanting that uh the white chick, so you know they're really oh, out no. Yeah, don't oh, touch our women next. Right whoa, whoa. Bad enough you're an elf, don't touch our women. Uh look, <laughs> I feel everything you're saying. Look, I'm gonna keep it a beam. I was bored for half this show to the point that I stopped watching it and I just started watching Hot D House of the Dragon <laughs> most of the time because I just I was like, this shit's slow as hell. I need you to get to the end so like so you can stop walking and then I'll catch up because I couldn't I couldn't walk with it. So I'm gonna be real with you for you guys that love Lord of the Rings, like we all do here, except for Lisa. Uh, <laughs> not true. I'm gonna speak that. Not true. Not true. <laughs> Just go to episode like five and start there, and then if you love it, then you can go back and then watch it up to it. Because yeah, a couple times I fell it's asleep. Slow. Couple it's times slow. I was like, I don't know what the hell is going on because I was on my phone like an idiot. <laughs> so I'm just gonna be real. It's real slow. And my biggest beef with it, as I told Jason earlier. How you gonna have a show called Rings of Power? It ain't no damn rings in this damn whole show. <laughs> ain't that seen would be awesome. ring with no damn power. One of my criticisms, because you know, at uh spoiler alert, you know, at the end of the show, they create the three rings, the El- three Elvis rings at the very end of the show. For all those who, who are token fans know that uh there are a lot more rings. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. There are a lot more rings, and like in fact, the three rings were the last of the rings to be created. And like they just basically like don't even talk about rings until they make them at the very end, and they're like, "Oh yeah, this is, we solved it." <laughs> everybody high five and everybody like this show right, is called right. Rings of Power. Where are the other Rings of Power? <laughs> like this show should like start off with somebody wearing when this a show ring was or made. I thought this show was going to be like uh, Captain Planet. I thought these gonna be motherfuckers running around, <laughs> with, with power rings, <laughs> oh, fire and fire water. And water. <laughs> I no, you heart. sit down, Matisse. My, my yeah. You sit down. We don't heart. need you right now. <laughs> heart that's is the most important part. Captain, yeah, that's what you and Captain Planet think. I can burn all them hearts away. Uh, but, yeah, it was none of nobody running around yelling wind and fire and none of their powers combined to make Sauron. None of that happened. <laughs> <laughs> that's what's all. It is though. He's literally the yeah. evil Captain Planet with all yeah, his powers combined. Yeah. I have this one ring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ain't none of that shit happened, man. So, did I enjoy it? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm telling everybody, just go to episode five, ride the rest of the train, and if you want to go back and fi- go and catch up, fine. But that's my recommendation. Episode five, what the hell? Oh God, we gotta let Lisa defend herself that she does not hate Lord of the Rings. I, I do I, not hate Lord of the Rings. I do, I do not. not like it, Sam. I am. I yes. I have read all of them. I read The Hobbit. I read the Summer Summer Rent. Whatever. Summer really There we go. I'm Somewhere. sorry that you read that. Yes, mm. I because that's how I and it it yeah mind f and uh so I. The Lord of the Rings is super dense. Tolkien made it dense on purpose because he didn't want to fucking write it. it. Drives me crazy. 
that they just keep do- making all this stuff. His like the state, I just feel like it's going after money. Like so, I just I'm yeah. good. The, the only prequel I need is The Hobbit, and but that was the OG, so it's not even a prequel. It's fine. Like I don't need to watch anything else, <laughs> Lord of the Rings, <laughs> anything else Tolkien ever. Like, How else is I'm Christopher good. Tolkien the so, second going to buy another castle in England if he doesn't sell? Well? Yeah, so <laughs> yeah. I'm good. I'm good. I hope people enjoy it. I, you know, whatever. But now, nah, fam, I'll pass. <laughs> <laughs> but also with this, uh, you definitely find out that uh, Gladwell was wrong. <laughs> Glad, yes, which, yes, which a lot of in the beginning of the show, everybody's like, Oh, she's the most perfect person ever. Nope, she was wrong. <laughs> yep, she yep, kind yep, of yep, yep. started all this, made this all happen. Uh, so mm-hmm. like, that's what we like to call you know, stakes and character development. Shit. And she was like, Oh, shit. <laughs> I bet the wrong horse. Oh, god, was I was I wrong? Was I the bad guy? Am I really? Is it me? Is it me? <laughs> No, she's like, but, but I told you to do this. He goes, I never told you to do that. You did that. She's like, yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right. Fuck. <laughs> I, whoa. That's nah, okay. It's okay. Don't fix it. Don't fix it. You knew from the second we met who I was, and you didn't say nothing about it. All right. <laughs> Actually, she was kind of attracted to the darkness, too. Yeah. Like, we could we could bag if you want. <laughs> but I like to see to the darkness. The the fanfic for that where Sauron and Gladriel hook up rather than Sladr- uh, Gladriel and Gandalf. It probably you know. already exists. Mm. You just got to find the right right Reddit thread. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right, right. The right word pad or uh, what yeah, pad? What pad? Story. <laughs> yeah. Also, and just you know, I feel like this takes a little shine of Gladriel for one only one instance ever is that she's been fighting this motherfucker for thousands of years now. <laughs> Because if you get to the point that the ring gets dropped in Mount Doom from that from this point to that point, she's terrible at finishing off enemies. Like <laughs> just lock it up. Like she's zero for one for <laughs> thousands of years. Right. <laughs> and then by the time they do complete it, is when she sits on the sidelines. Quasi. She does give them, you know, the ointment or whatever, the, the waters or whatever. But for the most part, she wasn't part of the, the fellowship. So like when they finally win, she's defense. on the sidelines. Her husband is a super racist, so she had to keep that in the locks. Ah, <laughs> uh, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Okay. <laughs> her husband's like, what is that doing in my neighborhood? And it was like, whoa, whoa, bro. <laughs> yeah, you don't want your wife running off with uh, one of them. She may never come back to say, I understand now, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> it all makes sense. <laughs> yes, full circle. Full all circle. right. Uh, <laughs> this is your first time listening. So we do a rating system where we're going to rate uh, Lord of Rings of Power. Excuse me. Um, hit for we really enjoyed it. Cannon for it being I and Circus for it being some clown shoes. Jason, what do you give the Rings of Power episodes one through eight? One through eight. Look, I'm a show. They pay me money to say good things about the show uh in fact jeff bezos called me up and was like jason i need you to say some good stuff about the show (laughs) so i'm gonna give it a head um he didn't actually not give me any money which he should because i'm poor and i need it (laughs) (laughs) i enjoy it when when, when lex when lex luther calls you probably should answer and pick up i will sell Um, out immediately Yeah, I'm a, I'm gonna give it a canon because um, I enjoyed the end. I thought it picked up steam very well, but those beginning parts was just tough for me. And I get it, and I know because we know that's the routine for this. But I guess I, I wanted it to buck the trend just a little bit and give us a little bit more a little sooner. But I, again, I enjoyed it, and I will probably rewatch it right before season two so I can catch all the things I didn't catch because. I probably wasn't paying attention through half of it. So, <laughs> <laughs> luckily, they did buck the trend because if this was the adaptation of the Cimmerillion, we would be, you know, fifteen seasons in and still on the first chapter. <laughs> just talking about just all the names of the characters. Yeah, just yeah. who's related yeah. to who. Like, yeah. oh, that's my cousin, and that's yeah. his cousin. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I guess it is time. My favorite part of the show. Damn. And everybody we knows what today. that is. <laughs> this means it's the end. It's the Thank you, everybody, end, for friend. listening to Head Cannon Circus. Please remember to go out there and get the book. 
Dungeons and Do Rags by Ron Dawson. Hopefully, next week we will have him on the show so that we can talk about the book and his upbringing and his life as a black nerd and geek trying to get it out here in these streets, just like a black man's supposed to get your money. <laughs> uh, but besides all that, <laughs> please remember to like, share, subscribe. We're everywhere here at Cannon Circus. Thank you to my lovely, lovely uh, co host as well. Uh, Lisa, Jason. do you have any kind uh, words for the people in the streets? Um, be kind to each other, and you know, that's, that's all you know. <laughs> yes, now Jason has to have another catchphrase. Jason, is, that your, is that your catchphrase? Oh, okay, let me hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, 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 I know, I know. Okay, okay, ready? Uh, no, I don't have anything. Sorry, okay, don't it's be fun. a dick. Also, if you're don't be a little shit and you won't get murdered. There we go. Mm, good one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Jason, any final words for everybody? Uh, I guess next week we are doing Shazam, or not Shazam, Black Adam. Black Adam. Black Adam. Black yes. Adam. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Same thing. Or uh, <laughs> probably a Super oh, Sons. See you later, Super... Jason Atkins. See you later, Jason Atkins. <laughs> and, uh, Thank you for joining us. We do a, a DC sort of episode plus with uh, the Super Sons or whatever. But oh, yes. Way, I think that's supposed to come on DVD, yes. Yeah. Uh, be kind, be considerate, and always tip your bartenders and servers at least 20%, if not more than you can afford it. And I was going to make a joke about Lisa being Jaren with a sex change, but I was like, I'm not going to do that. That's not <laughs> <laughs> like okay. Jaren's back, everybody. <laughs> no, no, no. But if you do see Jaren, give him a hug. Yeah. Oh, also, wow. That was very kind of you. Yeah. We got Taylor drunk the other dropping day a new after... album, so stream that. <laughs> What's you drop it on Apple? Uh, Taylor Swift is dropping a new This album. is a black show. Midnight. Listen, she loves black people. <laughs> she tweets about it all the time. <laughs> this is a black show. Let's just... <laughs> yes. Hold on, hold on. This is a straight male black show. Uh... <laughs> she also loves um, straight male. She writes songs about it all the time. Yeah, that's all her songs are about. 95% of them are Jake Gyllenhaal and <laughs> one. There was one. <laughs> Well, thank you everybody for listening and watching. We will see you all next week. And evil finally died tonight. Finally. <laughs> Fuck evil. <laughs> see you all next Michael week. <laughs>